what is going on guys it's your boy uh dragon hunter zero here again uh with dragon hunters lounge um today i'm coming at you with a very budget friendly armageddon deck profile um not really much to say on it um it's more so flood the field with diaboromon and then occasionally well not even occasionally you hard play uh armageddon and you know win um yeah, like I said, not much more to say about the deck. Uh, let's just get right into it. So for Digi Eggs, I am playing four copies of the set five uh, Sumimon. Uh, it's inheritable uh, when attacking. Once per turn, if Digimon has unidentified type trigger, draw one. Not much more to say. This deck is mostly consistent of unidentified creatures. AKA Armageddon, Diaboromon, um, the Digimon of that nature. Um, like I said, it's very budget friendly. So I don't have any of the promo. Well, I'm not going to say I don't have any of the promo. I, I have very few promo cards. Um, I want to say just one promo, actually, and that's Infernamon uh, in the deck. Uh, but other than that, like I said, it's, it's, it's very budget friendly. Um, and even then, I don't really think he goes for that much uh, at the current moment so anyway uh let's start off with our rookies um and i play three copies of gotumon um you're gonna see a lot of blockers you're gonna see a lot more cards from set five for this it's like i said it's very budget friendly um it's a very budget friendly build so yeah um and it's a black deck so as expected you're gonna have blockers in a black deck so, like I said, uh, three copies of Gotumon. Um, yeah, he's a, he's a blocker. A three-cost rookie blocker. Um, going from there, we play four copies of Commandramon. Again, that's another blocker. Costs a little bit more to bring out than Gotumon, but still, it's it's efficient. It, it's good to have. Because eventually, what will end up happening is you'll probably well not even probably you'll flood the field with a bunch of diaboromon and you'll just have these guys that these will be what's taking up most of your memory uh if you don't already have an armageddon out so yeah like i said um yep yeah. um and then i play four copies of bt5 caramon which on play reveal the top five cards of your deck add one digimon with unidentified and one arata uh, Sanda, uh, from among them, place them in your hand and place the rest of the cards at the bottom of your deck. Um, this has actually gotten me out of trouble, uh, because the one problem I'd say with this deck is there's a chance you won't have, uh, many rookies to run into, if that makes any sense. Um, but even still, like I said, it's just, just hard playing him, being able to search through your deck. It's, it's deck filtering. It's important. Um, for Armageddon, in my opinion, and it's amazing, so yeah. Um, but like I was saying, um, then I play one copy of the set two Caramon, uh, mainly because that's the only one that I have at the moment. I'm actually in the market for getting a few more Caramon. I want to uh, bump this deck up to make it more efficient. Um, for Diaboromon, so I'm definitely invested in set two Diaboromon, set two Caramon at some point just not at the moment um so i'll be doing a re-upload later on down the line for a better i would still say budget friendly because again i'm not getting like the tournament pack caramon infernamon caressimon all of those i'm not getting any of those um other than the one that i already have if that makes it yeah. other than the one i already have so yeah i have the one caramon uh with the inheritable of when you play another Digimon with the same name as this Digimon, draw one. And it's not once per turn. It's it's really amazing uh, because basically it'll get to the point where if this is in Digivolution Source, you Digivolve into Diaboromon and you get two for free. So you get to draw two more cards and you can basically delete one for Armageddon. And there's other ways to bring out more copies of Diaboromon and just constantly drawing. So, yeah, it's it's like I said, it's it's amazing. Um, so yeah, definitely looking for more copies of this. Uh, I want a full play set of this. And then to round off the rookies, I play one Sunreason on. 
uh, mainly for his Digiburst effect. Um, yeah, mainly for his Digiburst effect. Basically, if he's Digibursted, he goes back to hand. So that, that way you can constantly recycle uh, some reason on. Now I'm on to the champions. Give me a second, please. There we go. All right. I play two copies of uh, Mecha uh, Mecha Norman. Excuse me, Me Mecha Norman. Uh, he's a blocker. Um, he's efficient against Rookie Rush, things of that nature. Um, so basically, suspend him. Block if he survives the encounter. Uh, he can basically be unsuspended, but he can't attack. It's a fair trade-off. Uh, four costs to play, so it's pretty efficient when it comes to blockers uh, in the champion level. And he's just a really good card to have. Um, then I play, for the time being, four copies of Black Galgamon. Which I plan on taking that down when I get more, uh, or set two Caressimon. I just don't have set two Caressimon right now. But yeah, um, he has Inheritable... Uh, this Digimon, if the Digimon has dig Reboot, it gets jamming. Um, so, yeah, it's basically, um, a Galmon, Galgamon version of, uh, uh, excuse me, uh, Greymon for Black. Um, so yeah, not much to say on that. Then I play four copies of the Set 5 Caressimon, which... Uh, it's ability, when digivolving, if you don't have Arata, Sanda, uh, in play, you may play one from hand without paying memory. So, uh, you know, just bring him out. Uh, bring out Arata, the tamer, main tamer for the deck. And it's inheritable. All of your other Digimon with the same name as this Digimon gain Rush. So basically, you have him in the, um, in the stack. You bring out Diaboromon, bring out two more Diaboromon, draw two cards, and all of your Diaboromon can swing. On the same turn. So, yeah. Um, this deck is very much rushed down uh, when you get to the Diaboromon turn. And, um, yeah. It's just it's very much rushed down. Um, and then we're on to the Ultimates. Uh, I play one copy of Infernomon on your turn. When this Digimon digivolves into Diaboromon, you may reduce the memory cost by one. Uh, I play one copy of him and then four copies of the set five in front of on. Um, which is your Caramon can digivolve into this card for a memory cost of four. So let's say, for example, you don't have a champion. You can just go straight into in front of on four cost. Um, and on deletion, you may play one Diaboromon token without paying this card's memory cost. So if your Diaboromon somehow gets deleted, because nine times out of ten, you're going to have protection. But if he does get deleted, you can play a Diaboromon token. So, yeah. And if you have a uh, Caressimon under, let's say, another Diaboromon out on the field, that one dies. This is in the Digivolution stack. You basically revive, uh, not revive, you basically uh, bring out that Diaboromon and can still rush with that Diaboromon token. Um, the only unfortunate thing I have to say about this deck right now is I don't have any Diaboromon tokens. And that's something I gotta invest in. So I'll probably be figuring out at some that out at some point. And then to round off uh four War Roru Monzimon. He's just memory efficient uh for Digivolution. Cost you to bring him out. Uh on the turns that you don't have Infernomon in hand or anything like that. Or you don't have uh uh Caressimon in order to, you know, filter and search for Infernomon. You have War Rumon just to get to Diaboromon a little bit quicker. Um, and off to our Megas. I play four copies, Diaboromon, which his ability is when Digivolving, you may play one Diaboromon token without paying his memory cost. Uh, it's a level six with uh, 14 cost, 3000 DP, and uh, it's an unidentified Digimon. So, yeah. Um, nothing more to say about that. I want to get the set to Diaboromon just to have, um, I want to say maybe two copies of this Diaboromon and four copies of that one, or vice versa. I haven't determined exactly how many copies I'm going to get as of yet. But the plan is to get the set to Diaboromon as well. And on to our Beyond Megas. It's four copies of Armageddon, which I will definitely be reducing down to two. Um, but yeah, when you play this card from hand, you may delete a Diaboromon. Uh, any of your Diaboromon to reduce this card's 
play cost by 12. So basically, you pay him for three. You play him for three. He gets rush in all turns when digivolving. Uh, the effects of all level seven Digimon don't activate. So it it's a hard stop for uh, Omnimon, Ragnarokmon, um, Omnimon Sword, Sword Defeat, all things of that nature. It's a hard stop. You Digivolve into him, cost three. Digivolve into him, and you prevent anything from happening. So yeah. Um, now we're on to options and tamers. So for options, I play two copies of Catastrophe Cannon and two copies of Ultimate Flare. Ultimate uh, Flare, you de-digivolve your opponent's Digimon by three and delete and then delete all rookies on their side of the field. Uh, not much more to say about that. It's it's amazing. And for Catastrophe Cannon, de-digivolve two and one of your opponent's Digimon uh, of one of your, uh, excuse me, I'm sorry. It's de-digivolve two on one of your opponent's Digimon. And then if no, uh, I'm sorry. Um, and then you play, uh, if you have a Diabormon, you may play one Diabormon token for free. Um, yeah, sorry, I jumbled that all up. I mixed that all up. I apologize. But yeah, basically, play that DDG Evolve 2, get a Diabormon token. Um, just to, you know, flood the field even more. Giving them rush, swinging down. If it's still your turn, or even if it's not your turn, getting rid of a problematic Digimon, giving, uh, making your opponent have to basically reset from there. Um, yeah. And then, to round everything off, I play four copies of Arata, or Arata, excuse me, uh, Sonata, which is your turn. If you have unidentified Digimon, gain a memory, and when... One of your Digimon Digivolves into Diaboromon. You may suspend this Tamer to get a Diaboromon token. So, you have him out. You have how many copies of uh, Arata that you have out. So, let's say, for example, you have three. You Digivolve into Diaboromon. You get four Diaboromon tokens, meaning you can draw four times to, for bringing out Diaboromon. Not four, three. Excuse me. You get to bring. You get to uh, draw three, uh, three cards for bringing out those tokens you play catastrophe cannon in that same turn get another token you get to draw a card you see where i'm going with this um and i'm sorry um it's unidentified in your trash which nine times out of ten you're gonna have an unidentified uh digimon in your trash whether it's through your opponent's influence or your own so yeah um yep and then Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, last two cards. Takumi Iba. Um, Takumi, when you digivolve, you may suspend this tamer to draw one card and on both you and your opponent's turns. When a level 3 Digimon attacks, lose one memory. It's a uh, fashion against Rookie Rush. Uh, There's really not much more to say about Takumi. Uh, Takumi's a good card to have. Uh, could be problematic for maybe... Uh, Mirage Galgamon, if people even still play Mirage Galgamon. Um, I can't say if people still play Mirage Galgamon. I know someone who plays Mirage Galgamon, and it's a good deck. Um, but you know, that relies on you having more than enough copies of cards in your hand, and uh, or not, not copies of the same card, but you know what I mean, like having eight or more cards in hand. So it is efficient, uh, or it can work against you in that setting, but nine times out of ten, it's not going to do anything too drastic. But yeah, um, so that's it for my budget-friendly uh, Armageddon deck profile. Again, let me know what you guys think. Let me know any changes that you would make. Um, how many copies of the set 2 Diaboromon you want to use in comparison how many copies of the set 5. Any information um, that you could have for that, it'd be greatly appreciated. While I don't necessarily need... Uh, guidance or a bunch of help any help is any help provided is definitely appreciated and i appreciate you guys for uh even watching um so yeah again that's it that's it for my uh deck profile on uh armageddon diaboromon and again it's dragon hunter zero dragon hunter's lounge signing off